What's up, it's Roy here. So today I have probably one of the best values in my opinion when it comes to a case and a screen protector for your iPhone 14 Pro. Now this is from Encase. They were kind enough to send this out for review. This is the Rebel Series case, but it does come with a tempered glass and it's only $15.99 on Amazon with Prime shipping. So you heard that right, $15.99, you get a case, and you get a tempered glass. Not bad at all. And I really am digging the new packaging from Encase, this matte black packaging. You got the lines, you got the Encase branding. Looks really simple, clean. I like it. Um, so let's get it out. Got the little tab already cut. Got all the goodies inside. I don't think there's anything else in there. Nope. So here is the case. It is the Rebel Series case, like I said, but the awesome thing about it is it comes with a tempered glass screen protector. Um, you get the install kit, all that stuff inside. Let's get this out of the way. Um, welcome aboard. So they're always saying hello for thank you for joining them. And there's a little QR code to activate your lifetime warranty. Um, and like I said, just some extra stuff here. So the install kit, all that um, should have probably like a microfiber cleaning cloth and um, you know, probably the little wipe to clean the screen with all that fun stuff. So let's get that out. So yeah, so we have a wet wipe. We have a little cling for the dust absorbers and for like the screen protectors, uh, you know, kind of mounting stickers and then a little microfiber cleaning cloth and like I said, it is a full screen protector, as you can see there. So um, pretty awesome that that comes with it. Um, so looking on the interior before we get down to the install of the screen protector, I really, really like the interior of these encased Rebel Series cases. Uh, it has this really cool, it's called their Impact Dispersion System, teardrops or raindrops or something all over the interior. The sides are just nothing but just, you know, airbag goodness. So literally helps with drop protection. So this is a heavy duty rugged case, but it is still pretty slim as well. So definitely gonna give a pretty good um, experience if you accidentally drop your phone. So let's go ahead and put that to the side and let's get the screen protector installed. So I'm gonna flip the phone over pretty easy peasy stuff here. I've done a lot of screen protectors uh, installs before, uh, so I'm looking forward to actually putting one on my 14 Pro so that way I don't screw it up. Um, very moist wet wipe as well, so I like that. So you're just gonna clean the screen, you know, get it all nice and wet. Then get your microfiber cloth and just wipe the screen down. All right, and then I'm going to use the dust um, absorber. So all that's gonna do is help just get any kind of extra little fuzz balls or just little lint from the microfiber cloth, just anything that I missed. Just kind of go around it, just make sure you know, I'm trying to look at it at different angles with the light as well, because sometimes you'll miss a little piece here and there. I don't like to push it all the way against it. I just kind of do like what I'm doing here. Um, so that way the residue of the stickiness doesn't, um, you know, make a mark on the actual screen. And then I'm gonna line it up. Let's get that going. And as you can see here, it does show that there's a kind of which side to remove the film from. So you start to peel, obviously that's the sticky side that's gonna go up against the device. Um, I don't use these very often, but I'm gonna go ahead and do so. I'm gonna put one at the bottom and then I'm gonna do one at the top. And all this is gonna do is help me line up the screen protector a little bit better, or in theory it should. Um, so that way, you know, I can use this and kinda, you know, do that number there. So let's go ahead and get this peeled off. I try my very best not to screw this up because I got one and that's it. And let's see, let's go ahead and just
think I got it. Of course I didn't. I did it totally off. Gosh darn it. So screw the markers. I'm gonna do it old school. <laughs> so, whoops, crap. So all I'm gonna do is focus on the, the speaker cutout and then just drop it. And hope I got it on there good. Looks like I did. So now you can see the kind of water mark is starting to go through. So all the air bubbles are pushing out. Once it does its thing, then I'll use the microfiber cloth to push out these, which I'll go ahead and just use my other one that I have. You can notice here in the corner, I kind of messed up. It looks like there was a little piece of fuzz or something that got under it when I did that. So it's probably gonna bug me and I'll probably have to redo it and get another one, but is what it is. So rule of thumb guys, just make sure that you're focusing on the actual cutout up top. So that way, you can make sure that you're lining it up and not covering the uh, speaker grill there. So now that it's installed, looks pretty good. I don't have any air bubbles in it or anything like that, except for this corner, which that's the corner I lifted up from and didn't do it as elegantly as I would have normally done it. I just kind of, well, actually it doesn't look bad. So there we go. So I got the screen protector installed. Feels very fluid, feels very good and nice to the touch whenever I'm holding it. Um, go to YouTube and play around with that. So not too shabby at all. Very, very nice. So now that we got a screen protector, now we can hopefully not scratch up the phone and then uh, let's go ahead and get it installed. So I'm just gonna push it in and that is all she wrote. All right, so now we got the phone installed in the case and I gotta say, looks good and feels good in the hand. Does add a little bit of extra thickness to the phone, but it's not bad. It's, it's a slim, heavy duty case. Take that for what you will. But, uh, but at the end of the day, it is a very nice, smooth, in and out of your pocket type of case. It's uh, anti-fingerprint, anti-smudge. This type of material is nice. The encased logo there looks awesome. I love how it has that kind of look there, but just a very, very nice feeling case. The camera bump protection looks very nice as well. So you've got some nice lips around the uh, lenses. And then looking at the side here, you can see you kind of have this like kind of cool snakeskin looking pattern, right? So that's where this added grip is gonna come into play. We have a power button that is raised, so that is awesome. And then moving to the bottom here, we do have our cutouts there for the lightning port and our speakers. And then on this side here, kind of the same thing, right? We got our, our snakeskin pattern for the grip. We have our volume up and down buttons right there and a cutout for the alert slider. And then nothing really going at the top, but there's the look of how much the lens bump sticks out. Looking at the front, you can clearly see you have complete protection around all borders. So a little more aggressive on the forehead and chin, but you do have a lip around the sides as well. That's the look of the phone, looking at it from the front. So not too bad. It's not super crazy thick, but it does definitely stick out a little bit. So once again, it's a heavy duty case, so it's supposed to. Um, and I really actually like how the uh, camera, or excuse me, the, uh, the speaker cutout is right here. So if you can see it in this video, I do kind of like how it is. It's very clean, very simple looking. So now let's go ahead and do the wobble test. So putting it face down, it's completely flat. So no issues at all there. Putting it back down, it's gonna be a little shaky. And obviously that's how most of these 14 Pro cases are because of the bigger camera bump. Like the 13 Pro, it is gonna just shake a little bit. So kind of take that with a grain of salt. Um, and then let's go ahead and do the clicky button test. You know, I like to do those. I love my tactile buttons. So when I do the power button, very responsive. So it feels pretty nice, definitely very tactile. And then when I do the volume up and down button, 
very tactile and responsive as well. Has a very nice responsiveness to it. Feels very good against my thumb. Now let's see how hard it is to get to that alert slider. So just gonna use my fingernails. You can see the dynamic island moving back and forth between ring and silent. So definitely easy to get to. No problems at all with that. So not too bad. So now let's do the uh, MagSafe test. So there's no built-in magnets, but let's see what we get. So we do get a MagSafe charging um, sign there. So it is MagSafe compatible, no issues at all, but it is not gonna be a super strong connection with the MagSafe charger. So it's gonna find it just like that. But as soon as I do that, it slides right off because there's no built-in magnets. So you need to make sure you understand that. You need to make sure that if you are someone that is using a car accessory in your vehicle, or maybe you're using a charging stand on your desk and you wanna set it up, then you need to remember this will not work with those. Um, it really only works if you kind of place it on a charging pad or something like that. That's when it's gonna shine the most. Um, so all in all guys, I, I really like this case. It feels good. Like I said, does add a little bulk, so just remember that, but it is very, very small. It's very minimal bulk, but it is a heavy duty, nice protective case. And I just, like I said, I just really like this texture on the back, especially since you're not gonna have to deal with fingerprint issues. So that's a, a big thumbs up. So hit the like button if you liked the video. If you loved it, please subscribe, ring that notification bell for up-to-date content. So be safe, God bless. I'll see you on the next one.